you hear testimonies, it is a pointer to your heritage in Christ. It's a pointer to your heritage in Christ. Testimonies are not stories. No. They are divine pointers. Anytime something has been done before, it means it can be cheaply done again. Is somebody getting it is the law if it has been done before it can be cheaply done again can be cheaply done again can be cheaply done again shout hallelujah many of us have heard before of how the man sir edmund hillary was the first man to climb and conquer mount everest the tallest peak on the earth and he went and tried several times and did not go through it but then one day he came and said, look, mountain, you are the same size. You are the same width. Same level of difficulty. But since the last time you came, you were, I was here, you have not changed, but I have changed. So he went and scaled the mountain. What was thought impossible was scaled by him. Now, since that testimony, people have been going and climbing Mount Everest continuously since then. We are told that you even find sweet wrappers on the way. People are even eating sweet as they are climbing up. Why? Because somebody beat it before. So from that time, they have been beating it consistently. Anywhere you hear a testimony that has happened, it is a pointer that it can happen again. It's a pointer that it can happen again. God seven years ago went to the campus of Ora Roberts University. And he looked around and said, this can only be God. But it can happen anywhere. This can only be God. But it can happen anywhere. Look at Covenant University. Look at Landmark University. It is born from a testimony seen before that could be done again. I want you to know that no matter what you are confronted with, somebody successfully conquered it before. All you need to do is look for the testimony of the past.